Ghetto Choppers is a family business that has been in Oceanside for over 10 years. My stepdad participates, I participate, our family's here all the time. We had a, a charity event here that we, to raise money for Toys for Tots, which we do every November, right before Christmas time. And I had not been feeling well and I had been gaining a pound a week and I was working out really hard. I was very frustrated because I looked pregnant and I looked like my face was super round and I couldn't understand why my face was so round. And from that point, that's when all my symptoms kind of avalanched and my cholesterol went up and my glucose went up and my weight gain went even higher. My skin was breaking out even more. My skin was thin thinning out. I was in even more and more pain as time went on. But what Chandra has is a specific type of Cushing's syndrome called Cushing's disease. In Cushing's disease, you have a tumor in the pituitary gland, which is behind the nose in the center of the, the brain, that secretes too much of a normal hormone. It can cause obesity, hypertension, and diabetes. And very frustrated because I've been doing modeling my entire life, and including fitness modeling. And I felt like I didn't know what I was doing anymore because I didn't have my face. It was not somebody else, it was somebody else's face. In the case of Chandra, it's um, um, amazing that actually her tumor is only about half a centimeter, tiny tumor in the pituitary gland, which causes a very dramatic manifestation in, throughout her body. I was recommended to see Dr. Yu because of his experience with this surgery. The only treatment really is to do surgery to explore the gland. And once you find a tumor, and you can probably safely remove it because they are small, and you will not affect really a whole lot of the glandular function. It is not common. The reason why we see enough of this at UCSD is because we are known to be a center that deals with the disease. It's very tricky to confirm Cushing's disease. In Chandra's case, it was the buffalo hump in the back of her neck that um, tip her off that she has Cushing because she knew someone from 10 years ago who also had Cushing's disease and a um, buffalo hump. But most people who have all these symptoms actually do not have uh, Cushing's disease. Before you go to the endocrinologist's office, there are some simple tests that the primary care physician can order to, to save you time. In the most complex scenario, you really require a whole team of people to deal with it. I'm very fortunate to have a team here at UCSD.